With the start of college basketball season, guys, I figured I would go over the opening night extravaganza, which was honestly really bad. They decided to do opening night of college basketball on the same day of Monday Night Football, and all the ESPN networks were covering Monday Night Football, and on top of it, we got these terrible matchups, but you know what? These horrible matchups do create very funny scores, and actually, if you look at the women's college basketball, it's even crazier. We're going to talk about that at the end of the video, but I just wanted to go through some of these, uh, you know, crazy scores along with some, you know, power, some, you know, really good teams getting upset and, and, and kind of just look through it. So starting, of course, we kick things off with Baylor just absolutely trouncing Mississippi Valley State. I cannot believe that Vegas opened this game, Baylor minus 39, within like three hours, it got bet up to minus 44, and really any line under 50, I mean, there's just, there's simply no chance Mississippi Valley State will be able to keep this game within 50, it ends up being like a 64 point victory or something like that for Baylor, just a total annihilation, we've got the, the James Madison Valley Forge game, James Madison facing a Division Three team from, I believe, that same state. So, I mean, look at that. 72-11 to in the first half. They almost won the game by 100 points. Uh, and you would think they would not face these Division Three teams, but it happens every year. How about this one? Oakland winning nine. How about this team? 27 total points. 14 points in the first half, 13 points in the second half. You hate to see it. Oakland University. You know, when I was younger, I always thought Oakland was from like, Oakland University was from California. And then my mind was blown when it was like some place in Michigan. I was like, what? We've got UMass Lowell annihilating Fisher College 108-43. 108-43. to UMass Lowell off to a 1-0 start. To gra- Congratulations to them. How about Appalachian State? Anytime you score 142 points, it's impressive. I don't care if it's against Warner Wilson, whatever that is. Maybe a Division three school or something. They're either Division two or Division three schools when they don't have the little logo on ESPN. And you're going to be seeing a lot of that over this next month. But Appalachian State, certainly it's respectable. I mean, you're dropping a 140 burger uh, on opening night. That's great. We've got Thomas. Oh, guys, I love Bryant University. Bryant University is going to be really good this year. And we do have a 100-point spread. Uh, the 108-point victory for Bryant University over Thomas. That's all. They, they just named Thomas, I guess. Um, not sure. How about a 73 to 17 second half score? They scored 70 plus in both halves. We've got Bob Jones University who has upgraded and now Bob Jones University has a logo. Bob I've been seeing Bob Jones a lot the division either division 2 or division 3 school these past few years. They get spanked 120 to 48. You would figure they would get at least a little bit better. They keep facing these teams but but now they keep getting annihilated. Next, we've got Sarah Lawrence losing to Yale, 96-41. to 41. So Yale with a big-time victory to start their season. Liberty annihilating, 104-38 in their win. We've got Eastern Kentucky beating the worst version of Miami of Ohio. So Miami of Ohio, we know the Max school. This is like the C team. Or the B team, Miami of Ohio, of Ohio, Middletown, whatever that is, they get crushed 137 to 52. How about this? TCU, there's so much hype surrounding this program with football, with basketball, the returning players they have, they're so experienced. They get an, you know, a preseason AP ranking of 14 and they nearly blow it against a horrible Arkansas Pine Buff team. Arkansas Pine Buff lost like 23 games last year. They were down by 11 at half. They are going to move down. Even though they won, they win by one point. 
They're going to move down significantly in the AP poll. That was kind of the shocker inside of the top 25. We've got Samford beating Anderson of South Carolina. Uh, not a good look for Samford here, giving up a giving up nine or excuse me, 85 points to a Division II team. Sam Houston beats Oklahoma, and actually some context for this game: Oklahoma is like a top 50 team. So this is a bad loss for Oklahoma. Sam Houston isn't isn't that bad either. They're like a top 120 team. 52 to 51. I had the over in this game. It did not work out well. But Sam Houston makes a comeback and gets a big win on the road. Missouri holds off Southern Indiana. This is Southern Indiana's debut uh, as a uh, Division I school. They scored 60 points. That is not a good look for Missouri in their opening game. You allow 91 points to a team making their debut. Houston is so good. I think Houston, honestly, might be the best team in the country, especially with UNC looking kind of maybe just not trying or I don't know. They weren't motivated. North Carolina did not play well last night. Northern Colorado scores 36 total points against Houston. Houston minus the 23 and a half was an auto lock. Colgate. Oh, I love Colgate. I love that's a tough loss for Colgate, though. Colgate has a really good offense every year. They lose to Buffalo 88 to 87 in a heartbreak game. We've got Queens University. What a great name that is, making their debut. They beat Marshall by one point. Look at the abbreviation for Queens. Q-U-O-C. That's an, that's an unbalanced abbreviation. That does not look good, but they end up winning by one point. We've got another situation here. Notre Dame College beats Cleveland State. It simply cannot happen. It cannot happen. IUPUI, they're so bad. IUPUI might be the worst team. Uh, in all of basketball, 88 to 39, they can't score. They get the, the, every year they're horrible. Last year, I remember Ohio State had to reschedule a game because they canceled something, and they scheduled IUPUI, and IUPUI scored 37 points. And then in this game, they're listed as 30 and a half point underdogs, and they score 39 points. Oh my goodness. Uh, we've got Jackson State beating Shorter, 111 to 48. Congratulations to Jackson State. Minnesota is terrible. So Minnesota beats Western Michigan by a point. Minnesota, I believe, right now they're projected to be the worst team in the Big Ten. How about Rutgers and their defense? My goodness, suffocating. 35 total points for Columbia. Not a good look for the Ivy League school as they get trounced by Rutgers. This was a good game. Akron and South Dakota State. South Dakota State plus the four. They end up covering, but Akron wins in overtime, 81-80. to Akron does not have a bad basketball program. They're pretty good. Uh, that's that North Carolina game I was talking about. North Carolina, they win by 13 points. I think they were like 25 or 26 point favorites over North Carolina. Wilmington Maybe, you know, they're just not motivated. I don't know, but they, they scored sub-70 points in their first game. That is not a good look. Florida State loses to Stenson. Oh, you hate to see it. What a fall from grace for Florida State. They used to be like a top five seed a few times uh, a few years ago. Florida Gulf Coast, we remember them back in the tournament, the Dunk City. They beat USC. USC is a team that seems to get like random five stars every now and then, but they lose the first game. They're 0-1 on the year to Florida Gulf Coast. They lose by double digits. Oh my goodness. We have UNC Asheville beating UCF in overtime. How about that overtime? 22-19 in a five-minute overtime? That's a lot of points scored. UNC Asheville, they make the tournament sometimes. Respect to them. Pepperdine is really good. Pepperdine scores 106. They annihilated Rice. They were five-point favorites in this game. That is a really good win for them. And then taking a look at some of these women's games, where, where the talent gap is even more crazy. The Division Three school, Johnson University, loses 122-28. to 28. 
Uh, we've got Virginia of Lynchburg getting a shutout in the second quarter, losing 125 to 19. And then we've got this back to the men's side. Northern Illinois losing to Illinois Springfield. The, I don't know if they're Division Two or Division Three, but yeah, Northern Illinois is apparently really, really bad. So those are just some fun overall scores to look at for college basketball. There were like, I don't know, 250 games or something. It was crazy. I just wanted to go through some of the crazy scores we get when... These Division I teams face the Division Three teams. It's going to keep happening throughout the neck, throughout the month of December, throughout non-conference. Uh, it'll happen continuously, and we'll see. I think I think Gonzaga has a game against a Division Three team. Good, good lord! Uh, but guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.